This is Raphael Haynes from the Three Point Conversion here at State Farm Arena, where the Atlanta Hawks took on the Minnesota Timberwolves and won in thrilling fashion in overtime, 131 to 123. The Hawks started off slow, but battled back late in the game. We talked to Coach Lloyd Pierce, and this is what he had to say. Coach, like you stated, they um, the Hawks started off slow as far as shooting, but of course they battled back. Was this the type of game that you felt like they grew up some through this battle? Yeah, you know. I, Again, I thought our energy was weird in, in the first two quarters. Um, you know, down, you know, they had 10 straight, I think, possessions in the first quarter that they scored on, ended up with 40 points. We didn't have a defensive fight competitiveness in that first quarter. Uh, and for some reason, we were flat, but we were still in the game. Um, and so just, I ended up finding a group. We found a group that competed and played well together. Um, John was terrific tonight, his energy. So terrific that he got tired pretty quick in the uh, overtime period, and especially in the, at the end of the fourth quarter. But I, I found a group that was just playing together and playing with a great amount of energy. And uh, it was good growth to see different guys step up. I thought Dre was phenomenal down the stretch. And, and uh, you know, that's just what teams do. It's not going to be Trey every night. Trey had a big game, but we needed Dre down the stretch, and that was important. I call you the unsung hero. You know, you do all the dirty work that's not shown in the stat sheet, but how good does it feel to come in and show up in the fourth quarter in overtime to help your team to a win? Man, um, just getting any win possible. Um, like I said, I've been in somewhat of a slump, um, and I needed one of these games, not even just the points, just being out there, making the, making the right plays. <laughs> Making the right plays, so um, happy I was out there to help the team win, but it was a collective win for us. Trey Young led the Hawks with 36 points and 10 assists. We spoke to Trey Young after the game, and this is what he had to say. Uh, regulation, did you think you uh, hit the shot? Oh, I, 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 uh, I was, I was kind of mad because I, uh, I shot fates, uh, but he was so high and already jumping, I couldn't. And there was no way I was going to be able to make it if I just turned around and shot it. So. Uh, Try to shot fake real quick and step to the side and try to get a shot off. But with 0.5 seconds left, you can't do that. John Collins also put his imprint on the game with 34 points and 8 rebounds. We spoke to John Collins after the game, and this is what he had to say. John, big game tonight, um, especially what you and Trey showed, the chemistry. How great does it feel knowing that you two have a great future and you were able to lead your team tonight? It feels good that we came out, you know, had a chance to show what, you know, we see in practice and have been doing for a long time. Um, We've been doing it all year, but I feel like, you know, this is a, a nice example of uh, what, we, what we can do together. Vince Carter had 16 points, and he mesmerized the crowd as he turned back to hands of time, showing his athletic ability. This is what he had to say about it. When I talked to you before the season, you talked about how I asked you why did you come here, and you told me why. Um, and, we, you know, told me just to help out. And so now that you see what this team is about, and especially like a win tonight, is it gratifying to see all of this? here you know I just want to do my part still play the game because I love it still compete and you know coach gave me an opportunity to play late in the game in overtime and I just wanted to bring my uh, my energy my experience to the floor and I think we were we were settled out there we knew what we were doing you know constant communication that's just something as, as, a, as a young team you have to learn uh, because the, the young guys are trying to understand the game, learn the game, and how to be pros and, and, and help each other and being vocal out there. And, and, you know, that's what I wanted to bring to the table. And I constantly just, whether we're up 30 or down 30, I want to be the same. So, so it becomes a habit and mentality. And out there tonight, just everybody's talking, just playing hard, focused in. We guys were sticking to the game plan. You know, our, our two young guys, Trey and, and, and John, were phenomenal tonight as far as just executing, putting pressure on the defense, making the right plays for us, and the ball moves moving, finding the right guy. I mean, that's that's how good basketball teams win, by just sharing the ball. And, of course, when your guys are rolling, you make sure they have the ball. But with that being said, when they're drawing all that attention, they're making the right plays for everyone else, and, and guys are ready to shoot or put the ball in the basket. For the Timberwolves, Carl Anthony Towns finished with 37 points and 17 rebounds. The Atlanta Hawks improved their record to 21-41, and 41, and the next opponent is against the Chicago Bulls on Saturday evening. Make sure you stay tuned to the Three Point Conversion and all of our social media outlets, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and YouTube. And make sure you follow the 3PointConversion.com. Remember, it's where fans' opinions matter.